This is Bumper to Bumper TV. This year may be the lucky 13 for the auto industry. With sales topping the 14.5 million mark for the first time in years, manufacturers are in a celebrating mood again. General Motors used the Detroit Auto Show as a chance to introduce what they hope will be the bell of the ball, the new Corvette Stingray. Composite body panels, a 450 horsepower V8 engine, and a high-tech set of interior display panels make it a real head-turner. On the Cadillac side of the family, the ELR hit the stage. It shares the same drivetrain as the Chevy Volt with a much more high-tech interior and the Cadillac user interface system. With the good times rolling again, Infiniti is rolling the dice and rebranding its sedans with the Q designation. The first vehicle to carry the new nameplate is the Q56, the flagship sedan for the company. Keep an eye on the lineup as familiar platforms get new designations. Chrysler didn't roll out another sedan or pickup truck this year. Instead, the Jeep brand got a chance to take center stage for the Pemstar with three SUVs starting with a redesigned Compass. The Cherokee also gets a makeover with new sheet metal and a 3 liter diesel engine that promises up to 30 miles to the gallon, a big step up for the originator of the SUV segment. Kia is stepping up in class, so to speak, with the introduction of the Cadenza. This is a larger sedan than anything the company currently offers, with features normally associated with premium nameplates. And the folks at the Blue Oval brand, Ford, chose to introduce trucks instead of cars in Detroit. The Transit Connect now comes with a passenger-friendlier version, as well as the proven work truck edition. Ford likes the idea so much that they took the lines and applied them to a replacement for the full-size Econoline. Mercedes-Benz is touting a series of the redesigned E-version with a sedan, a four-door convertible, and a performance-oriented AMG 63 version for luxury drivers who want to burn up the asphalt. Not to be outdone, BMW took the wraps off of another iteration of the 3 Series with the rear-wheel drive 320i and the all-wheel drive 320xi. And for 2014, there are also some new lines on the Z4 Roadster that now comes with a retractable hardtop. Both platforms will re feature a return to a high-performance four-cylinder engine, a power plant that is once a signature for the brand. The Mini Division made it official with the John Cooper Works Paceman. It will be available as a four-wheel drive version. It comes as the brand celebrates a banner sales year. If you prefer something a little more substantial, the Bentley Division of Volkswagen has delivered an upgraded version of the Continental GT Convertible. Now if you want an exotic that really can serve the family, then consider this, the Maserati Quattro Porte, a new car with plans to expand the dealership network globally. The Lexus IS is carrying out the company's new design language to the compact sedan in rear and all-wheel drive versions. Since it was the first Lexus to get the F-Sport treatment, it makes sense for the luxury compact to get an updated version of that performance drivetrain. And in keeping with the corporate engineering direction, there will also be a hybrid version available first in Japan before it comes to North America. The new models and technology may be coming to showrooms at the right time, since analysts predict that sales in 2013 might reach the 15 million unit mark. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.